ahead. Listen, listen. Go ahead. I'm listening. Plus, I got somebody on the phone. But I'm asking you a question. Are you referring to the greatest white people? Come on, bro. I'm not dealing with you. You can't even answer the question. Man, I'm talking to you. I'm not talking to him. He's not here. I'm talking. I'm dealing with you. Black people. Black people. Black people. It ain't about the skin color, bro. What is it? It's about the people that was in the slave trade. Slaved by white people, and black people slaved us as well. What black people? Which ones? Oh, Which ones? We were doing slave trade for me. No, no, we were not. The Bible said, let like God be true and every man a liar. You just lied right now. Hey, you won in 68. Now come back, bro. I'm about to answer your question. We're going to have this over here. Let me ask you a question. You know God only dealing with us and only us. Who won in 68? Bring it up. See, you stuck on Galatians 3 and 28, right? Yeah, Who wrote Galatians? I'm not, I'm not even stuck on it. My thing of it you is, said I'm you the Jew and Greek, though, right? Listen, listen. Go ahead. I'm listening. Plus, I got somebody on the phone. But I'm asking you a question. Tell me about it. I'm asking you a question. He ain't gonna come. Who wrote the book of Galatians? We gonna be out all day. You say all Give me Galatians one. one. He not. Hey, bro. He, he Who wrote the book of Galatians? Because you quoted the scripture out of Galatians. Who wrote that book? Who? We gonna get it. Well, I mean, uh, Galatians one. We gonna show you who wrote Galatians, and we gonna show you who he wrote it to. Because many of our people are pulling one scripture. Which one know what black people don't do? They don't read. That's right. Read Galatians one and one. This is Galatians chapter one and verse one. Paul an apostle. So Paul, Paul was a Jew from the tribe of Benjamin. Paul wrote the book of Galatians, right? Let's see who Paul wrote it to. Go ahead. Paul an apostle, not of men. Neither by man, but by Jesus uh, Christ. Verse 2. Verse 2. And all the brethren which are with me unto the churches of Galatia. You hear that, bro? All the brethren that is with him in the church of Galatia. I'm talking to you. I'm not talking to him. He's not here. I understand, I'm talking. I'm dealing with you. So you just asked me a question, and he's going to answer it. I want you to answer it. I'm, I'm talking so what did he say? What did he say? He's telling you. No, I want you to tell me what he said. What did you just say, Eric? <laughs> Who wrote the book of Galatians? Or who was he writing it to? He said, he said, who who did he write the uh, book of Revelation to? No, Galatians. Because you quoted the scripture, right? You said neither Jew or Greek. He said to the church of Galatians. To the church of Galatia. Who was in Galatia? Let me now let me read the scripture again. Give me Galatians 1. But he said Greeks. Who were the Greeks? What color were they? <laughs> Who were the Greeks? <laughs> Who was the Greeks? <laughs> Tell him answer the question. Who was the Greeks? <laughs> see, see, he don't want to answer it. What he say? What he say? What you say, bro? You talk to Who the Greeks, bro? Who the Greeks? I ask you a question. Yeah. Who were the Greeks? White people? White people? I'm gonna ask you a question. Are you referring white to the Greeks as white people? Come on, bro, I'm not dealing with you. You can't even answer the question. Read Galatians 1 and 2 again. Galatians chapter 1 and verse 2. And all the brethren which are with me. All the brethren that is with Paul, go ahead. Unto the churches of Galatia. Unto the churches of Galatia right now. Go back to Galatians 3 and 28. Let's go back to that. Go back to that scripture because you quoted that because he told you to quote that. I know that's what he did, right? He a Christian, ain't he? He think all people can be saved, right? Most likely, he's thinking he thinking the white people, people, people can be saved, right? He loves everybody. He loves, nah, nah, he loves his he slave master. I know who he loves. Read that. He didn't went through everything. Verse 28. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. It's like there's neither Jew nor Greek, right? Bond or free, right? Now, jump back up to verse 24. No, no, 23. Verse 23. Uh-huh. But before faith came, we were kept under the law. I ask him who was kept under the law. Because remember, Paul is writing to the church of Galatia. He's writing to his brethren. He said, before faith came, we were kept under the law. Now, you got to use common sense. Paul is writing a letter to his brethren. That doesn't mean he's writing to the whole world. You understand? So, I'm going to ask you again. I'm going to ask you again. Who was kept under the law? Ask him who was kept under the law. Who was kept under the law? Do you know, bro? Do you know who was kept under the law? The Israelites were 
just can't find your law. Yeah, yeah, right. And he just said, Dad, you're free. Free to do what? Everything. Why can't you? Okay, do okay, so, you do so let me ask you a question. You're saying, so you're telling let me, let me, me ask you, hold on, let me ask you a question. I'm the only person that, that needs to be saved. Yes, like Luke 1, yes, I'm going to show you Luke 1 and 68. Let me ask you a question. Hey, bro, let me ask you a question. Yes, we can. We're going to go over Deuteronomy 28. Give us time now. Let's deal with your question because you're here. He on the phone. Tell him he can pull up and come here. Now you said, now I'm do we need to be saved, right? Let me ask you a question, bro. Do you think we need to be saved? Black people. What about you, bro? So now let's go into the Bible and find out because when I look at any other race of people, they got a military, right? They got police, right? What the black man got? The black man ain't got a damn thing. The black man don't have nothing. He tell me we say. Luke 1 and 68. Now come back, bro. I'm about to answer your question. We're going to let you know this Bible is not for no other race but the Israelites. We're going to let you know God only dealing with us and only us. Luke 1 and 68. Bring that up. Luke chapter 1 and verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. You hear that, bro? Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. You're an Israelite. You're an Israelite. You're an Israelite. It's say, like, blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Not our nations. Go ahead. For he had visited and redeemed his people. Who is God's people? Us, right? Who is God's people? Everybody. Isaiah 44. One. Let's see. Bring it out. Let's see if you, let's see if you lying. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me Romans 3. You know what I'm saying? Give me, I'm going to see if you lying or not. I'm going to see what it say. Trust the man. Give me that real quick. Romans chapter 3 and verse 3. Bring it out. Now verse, yeah, say, for what if some did not believe? Acts 5. Acts 5. Acts 5. Trust the man. Yeah, now, nah, now, nah, read that. Romans chapter 3 and verse 3. For what if some did not believe? Now, what if some don't believe? What if you don't believe God is only for the Israelites, right? God got a question. What if some of y'all don't believe that he only came for you? I know it's hard for a black man to believe that. Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? Just because you don't believe, you think this Bible ain't true? Just because you don't believe that? God forbid. You say God forbid. Yea, let God be true, but every man a liar. What God just say? Let God be true and every man a liar, right? He just said God's chosen people or God's people is everybody, right? Let's see if he a liar or not. Remember what the Bible say. Let God be true and every man a liar, right? Now what we going to do? We gonna see what God said. Get that scripture for me. Let's see who God's people is. Let's see if it's everybody. I know who you're trying to say. I know who you're trying to say. White people. Who? Who? Forty-four one. Because that's who we care about. Yeah, nah, nah, that's who you care about. That's who you care about. Isaiah forty-four. Let's go. Isaiah chapter forty-four and verse one. Yeah, hey, 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 hey. Let's deal with the chosen, right? Let's see who God's people is. Isaiah forty-four one. Let's pay attention. Yet now here, O oh Jacob, my servant, O oh Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen. What God just say? What God just say? What God just say? What did he say? So, so, what did he say? I'm asking you. What did he just say? No man is right. And now. No, God, no, the Bible said, let God be true and every man a liar. You just lied right now. You just lied and said, God chose everybody. God, the Bible said. What, what did he say that he chose us? Or white people? Or purple people? Or green? Jacob was a servant. Who is Jacob? Jacob was a white Who's it, yes, Jacob. He's a white dude, right? Jacob no, Jacob was our forefather. I understand that. He was the forefather of the twelve tribes of Israel. Black people, dark color. It ain't about the skin color, bro. What is it then? It's about the people that was in the slave trade. Slaved by white people and black people slaved us as well. What black people? Which ones? Which ones? We were doing slave trade for each other. No, we wasn't. Yes, we was. No, we wasn't. That's how we were getting. The Egyptians enslaved us. See, he don't know history. Now, we're going to show you. I'm going to show you. We're going to go through the slave trade. We already slaved ourselves. And then they took it from us and brought us over here. Let me ask you a question. Come back, bro. Come on. Let me ask you a question. Don't run. Don't run. Don't run. What you saying up there that's a slave? So why the hell would they sell our people back then? You see? The wicked flee will now pursue them. All right. Get that scripture. Get that scripture. The wicked flee will now pursue them. How you going to make a statement, then you going to walk away? 
we trade in services for goods. So if I owed you, we you can work yourself off. No, you can work yourself. Come on now. No, come on, bro. Come on, no history. I have a master's in history. Come what on. are you talking about? Come on, read that. What you tell me? Hey, 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 no, I didn't read the Bible. On. I didn't read the Bible. My father didn't read the Bible. Hamites are Israelites. You don't know who the Hamites are. He don't know that the Africans stole Israel. Hamitic tribes sold us. But he is hallowed, though, right? I'm going to show you what just happened. Read that. Proverbs chapter 28 and verse 1. The wicked flee when no man pursue it. You hear that? The wicked flee when no man pursue it. We ain't chasing after him. He made a statement that he came back up. Right. So what would you do? You're going to run. You're going to run. Now, keep reading. But the righteous are bold as a lion. You hear that? The righteous bold as a lion. That's why we have to stand right here right. on what we believe in. Right. Why? Because we read. We study the Bible. Right. And we out here to answer the questions for our people. You understand that? Now, let me ask you a question. Why are we going to slavery? I'm going to ask you, bro. Why are we going to slavery? Because he thinks we sold each other. That's nonsense. Why do people want to say it? Look, and if you don't know, it's okay. Say you don't know. I didn't know either. Give, give me your thought. Give me your Just give me your thought. I didn't do a research. I read it. So it says that we want to keep it in the community. Oh, so you are. Okay, what about you, bro? Why do you think we're in the slavery? I don't even know, bro. I'm just here trying to figure it out. You don't even know? No. Guess what? Do you want to know? That's why I'm here. All right. Give me right Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Yeah. Let's bring it out. Bring it out. Now we're going to answer your question. You know it a little bit, but guess what? You can learn some more. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Let's get some real history. Go ahead. Deuteronomy chapter 28, and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Now you know that Moses told us the 12 tribes if we don't hearken unto God. Remember, we was in Egypt over 400 years. Build the pyramids as slaves. You understand that? That's the history that he don't know. That's the history our people don't know. Go ahead. But if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe the truth, all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now he said, if we don't do the commandments of God, all these curses gonna come upon us and overtake us, right? Let me ask you a question. Do you feel like we curse people? Black people, do you feel like, don't you always feel like so bad all was happening to us? Yeah, but I mean, that's life though. It's not life because is all the other nations cursed? I mean, I feel, they like, I feel they like everybody, I feel like everybody always got some type, I feel like every uh, family got some type of curse that's been like, we passed We deal with people. nations though, bro. What? I'm talking about a nation then. We so let me ask you a question. Is the white man cursed today? Shit, some of them, yeah. I, no, I'm talking about that's the nation. Nah. Let's be honest. What about you, bro? You think they cursed? What's up, bro? How you doing, bro? What's up, man? We're here trying to show our people that we are the Israelites. We God's chosen people. You understand? And now we going over slavery because you know they are trying to take slavery out of schools. So now we want to show that the slave trade is in the Bible. Now I asked you. I said, "Do you think they curse?" Right? You said, "No." What about you? Do you think we curse? What about the other nations? Do you, you know, I said they're not cursed, brother. They? they have everything, right? So God said, if we break the commandments, He was going to curse us, right? Now, I'm going to ask somebody to bring up the curses for you. And I want you to, you know what I'm saying, resonate with that. You know what I'm saying, see if it's talking about you. Come on up, who coming up next teacher? We will work with anybody and form coalition with anybody that has revolution on their mind. We might not be back. I might be in jail. I might be anywhere. But when I leave, you can remember I said with the last words on my lips that I am a revolutionary. But 100 years later, the Negro still is not free. We want freedom by any means necessary. We want justice by any means necessary. This is a revolution of justice. This time that we're living in, the greatest time on earth, revolution. The spiritual and biblical revolution. All these lives will be shut down on this earth.
You can tell by my gate that I'm all in. You can tell by my faith that I'm all in. Front line with the truth, I'ma fall in. Even if it's a dead end, going all in. You can tell by the things I'm involved in. I can lose it all for my call in. If I die for the truth, it's a win win. It's going to the end, going all in. Going all in. Going in, going all in. Going all in. I'm going in, going all in. You can tell by the things I'm involved in. I can lose it all for my call. It's fine.